hi there this is Solomon and uh, today I'm making a video on uh, the quantize feature in uh, logic this is not a video on quantize in general but this is especially for logic users because uh, the quantize function in logic is a bit confusing but once you've mastered it it's very handy and due to this corona virus thing I'm at home for the past one week and uh, I thought I'd do this video for you all. So let's dive in. So there are two ways of quantizing. Quantize manually and uh, quantize globally or it's also called quantize on recording. As soon as you open logic, you'll find quantize under the region tab and usually set to off position. So let me record something. just for our reference today so if we go in nothing's been quantized yet so let me set a value of 1 by 16 to this and you can see the notes just moved and listen to it now this is how we generally quantize but uh, I wanted to quantize uh, by itself so there is this feature called quantize on recording which means logic quantizes the clip or the region automatically that is possible in many of these DAWs uh, Cubase, uh, Reason as I have seen and uh, it's also possible in logic so this is how we do it make sure you haven't selected any region here and you go to quantize and set a value there say for example let's set 1 by 4 and then let me record 1 2 3 4 so if you see it's quantized to 1 by 4 suppose you're doing a song uh, an EDM or something so most of it has to be quantized to get that tightness that's about uh, these two types of quantizing so to summarize number one is quantize on record wherein you don't select anything but you set a value here before that or uh, before you record and the other one is you record something and then you set a value by selecting it whenever you select a region this quantize here will show its uh, value okay let me record uh, one more clip uh, quickly very quickly to show you this feature and I'm going to quantize it to 1 by 4 okay so when I select a particular region its quantize value is shown here and this region's quantize value is shown 1 by 16 now if I select both of them a star is shown here indicating that multiple regions have been selected with different quantize values next this smart quantize there usually when I play a piano or uh, an acoustic instrument I would like to retain that human error that is there I'll just show you that on an EP right now two three four this is what you get I didn't quantize anything uh, I had set it globally It is quantized but logic has set it in such a way that uh, everything is having a slight human error in it so this is a beautiful way of maintaining that human error in the playing let me quantize it with the normal classic quantize you can see that the first part that that drum is gone it has become two separate notes there this one and this one so when I put it back to smart uh, it's back so that's one amazing feature in logic okay let me set this back to 
classic and let's talk about Q swing. Okay, so let me record something in strict 1 by 16 notes. Two, three, four. So now I'm going to give it a slight swing here. Of course, you can use uh, these different other swings that are given by logic uh, here A, B, C, D, E, and F. But sometimes I like doing it myself. Let me put it to 60 just uh, to show you what's happening inside. So so you can feel that light swing happening there usually it happens on the fourth note and the second note here yeah this one is totally off there if i get this uh, 60 back to normal by holding down option and clicking on it look what happened to these notes let me get back my 60% so that gives a kind of a swing there so if I increase it yeah uh, that's too too much but just for demonstration okay so 60 around 60 would be apt so I can also record my drums like that make a second copy there Okay, there it is. The drum is uh, totally in time. So whatever swing I have set here, 63, let me set the same thing there. 63 you can do that or you can just double click on it and just type it there 63 and then enter finally we're going to talk about make groove template so let's say i like this swing in this uh, in this clip or the region uh, and i want to save it for my later other projects so this is how I'm going to do it I select that first and then rename it to groove or maybe I can give it my name Sol groove o o -V. Uh, and also the 63 percent swing 63 um, that could be its name so I'm going to save that uh, region as Sol Groove 63. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to go to this Make Groove Template. That means make a groove template from the selected region. That's what it means. So I'm going to make a groove template from that. And next time when you open the quantized values, you'll have that there. Sol Groove 63. Suppose I use that in a later project. Two, three, four. Okay, I quantize it. So it's all straightened out. Now I'm going to choose that template and see. So make sure your template is neatly designed uh, before you save it and uh, let me also do a drum groove for that. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to quantize it to this groove. I'm going to select all of them and it's going to show me the same groove. If you found this uh, video very helpful, please uh, leave your comments down below. 
and also let me know if you want me to make some other videos on logic because i've been using logic from 2009 thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe Thank you.